Welcome to Cardiff. This is Will Sanchez. My honored guest today is Senator Bill Perkins. He is a New York State Senator, by the way. I met a good senator back in 2008 after I did a forum called Rats on the Run. Mm. His office contacted me and said, the senator is having his own forum. Would you mind joining? I immediately went and I was sitting in the front row of his offices and the senator was shaking everyone's hands. He came up to me. As it turns out, I was wearing this shirt. He stopped and he read my shirt. I said, hmm. I had no idea he was a runner until years later in 2013 when I saw his name come up as a finalist as a, as a New York Road Runner, Runner of the Year for his age group, Bill Perkins. And I discovered it was Senator Bill Perkins. I am delighted to have the senator on the Gotta Run TV show. <laughs> Welcome, Senator. Thank you so much for the opportunity to join you again and have some conversation uh, about uh, running, et cetera. You called it the 411 on rats. Yes, indeed. And we're still involved with that issue. It's a very, very important issue. It's not the sexiest of issues for a politician to be involved with, but from the perspective of the neighborhood, uh, as well as the city in general, uh, that rat Running around is a big, big concern. And it has, as you may know, rat-borne diseases. They're not just unsightly, and they're not just get into places that you don't want them to get into. But it's not something that I uh, planned on becoming uh, involved with. But in response to the needs of the neighborhood, it became apparent that we couldn't ignore it. Yeah, and yeah. so we've spent some time with that. and. Um, we think that that is the unsexiest, most important issue that one could embrace. <laughs> and actually, ironically, uh, people very much appreciate me for that uh, because it is a part of their daily life. That they, uh, it that is. Uh, we have it up on the Upper East Side where I'm from with the 2nd Avenue subway construction. It mm, upsets the rats mm, so they come mm, into mm, the apartment mm, buildings, right, go right, into the parks. Right, right, right. Let's uh, introduce you to our audience, Senator. Tell us where you were born and tell us a little bit about Well, I'm a native New Yorker, uh, born in the South Bronx um, and went to public schools in the South Bronx. M family moved into uh, El Barrio, East Harlem. Um, went to school in East Harlem, eventually went to a high school at a school called Collegiate School for Boys. And I was very fortunate having won a full scholarship. Went to Brown University and uh, very fortunate that uh, I won a scholarship. Uh, was it a running scholarship or academic? Uh, it was strictly academic. I wasn't uh, a champion runner, uh, but though I was athletic, but I was fortunate that that opportunity came. And frankly, it was after college that I really began to invest a lot of time seriously in long distance running. Mm -hmm. If anything, I did a 440, you know, 220, 100 meters, but those are kind of like sprints. Uh, but I've always been um, athletic, and I always believed your health is your wealth. And running for me uh, was a way of representing that uh, on a daily basis. And long distance running uh, was a challenge that I never anticipated that I would get involved with. And now I'm a long distance runner more so than anything else. So, excellent, yeah. excellent. In Brown University, what did you study? Political science, oh. and uh, yeah, I thought that uh, at the time I was there, there was uh, the, the civil rights and other related movements were taking place, and I wanted to sort of make sure that I grounded myself in an understanding of government and politics, and I was more attracted to community activism and, com and, and civil rights issues and movements of that type, and I, folks thought that I was, as a tenant organizer and leader, that I should run for office mm -hmm. and uh, offered me the opportunity and uh, took it and apparently I won one Just thing after the other. back in 2006, I think? Uh, sometime about that time, but that's when I was in the council. But before I got to the council, I, was, I ran as a Democratic district leader and a state committee member. And, uh -huh. um, so, so you have uh, to work your way up to being a senator. I kind of worked my way up and uh, to the point where now I'm in the state senate. and. Uh, it's been 
for me, a, a rewarding experience in terms of fulfilling what I thought would be my way of, of recognizing the accomplishments of the civil rights movement in this new era uh, in which uh, doors were opened for folks like myself. And now that those doors are open, let's make sure that government mm -hmm. on all levels is continuing uh, to uh, keep doors open and open doors that might not already be open. And so it's been, for me, a good way of fulfilling the dream of the civil rights movement. Excellent, excellent. Our audience is not typically or probably not aware of your district. Tell us about... The district I represent, represent. Is, a, is a wonderful district. It's, for the most part, uh, central Harlem. Uh, it also includes uh, parts of El Barrio, East Harlem, where I was raised. But then it goes west into what is known as the uh, Upper West Side, Columbia University, Morningside Heights area, uh, all the way down to, let's say, roughly 72nd Street, uh, Central Park West. And um, then it goes up into uh, Washington Heights. Uh, so it's a rather diverse and uh, broad mm -hmm. uh, district, a uh, district that is in many respects defined as a district of... Uh, where there's a lot of activism involved, yeah, which is yeah. which is suitable to, to the kind of career that I was looking forward to and the kind of work that we were doing. And so it's a diverse also, obviously, not only geographically, but in, in terms of uh, the various groups that live in these areas. Uh, so it has obviously a historic Harlem, African-American based, and there's a Jewish community, there's a Dominican mm -hmm. then Latino community, and a Puerto Rican Latino community, and uh, then there are even folks that are becoming, coming into the community from the Middle East and so forth. So it is a, it's a wonderful melting pot of opportunity that people seem to uh, have been attracted to, especially lately. Uh, and so there's some challenges by virtue of that as well, mm -hmm. because, you know, the phenomena of gentrification and yeah, the yeah. phenomena of rents and uh, cost of living going up. Uh, and many uh, of the affordable housing, is, affordable housing is, is a great challenge. Yeah. And, and also the perspective of the work that I have to do. Mm -hmm. People um, believe sometimes that um, legislation and, 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 and bills, writing and, and budgeting, uh, is sort of like uh, instant grits, <laughs> but it, it's not. Right. It's a long distance uh, type of uh, approach uh, to changing policies and to creating new opportunities uh -huh. uh, for our schools and, and for our communities. And so you can come up with a, a brilliant idea, but the legislative process isn't as responsive as right, that right. brilliant idea right. requires. So you have to have a sort of a long distance perspective on getting bills passed, uh, getting budgets shaped up in the way that would be more responsive to the, to the community's cool. needs. And if you don't have that long distance perspective, you can be very much frustrated mm -hmm. uh, because the glamour of public service as presented, especially in, through the media, suggests that it's a when you go in, you get things done right away, but it, it's quite yeah, the opposite. Yeah, we know it takes, it takes a It's long, almost long like time. running a marathon with weights on your legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Are there uh, any other senators that uh, run any colleagues? I think Senator, like, for example, Senator Jose Serrano. Is he next Jose door? Serrano does some running. Uh, there are a few others um, on the Republican side of the ledger as well uh -huh. uh, that, that do some running. And Probably the, the best runner in the, in the New York State Senate. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if oh, okay. that's is that accurate. I haven't quite uh, had that contest yet. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm up in Albany, there's a op lot of interesting opportunities to run uh, along the, the Hudson River. There's a park that uh, I go to in, in the mornings that that uh, I can run in, and then as you know, Albany is hilly. So for runners that are in training, especially yeah, yeah. for long distance, hills are helpful oh, in terms of strength. Well, not all runners like hills, but you do, huh? <laughs> well, I like it because I feel that, uh, maybe it's a psychological thing more than anything else, but I feel it helps to strengthen uh, the legs and-, and, and Well, you and, got good instincts. Are, are yeah. you self-coached? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you got good instincts. Yeah. Have you run Boston? No, but that is uh, on my list of must-dos. Okay. Boston is a very competitive one, uh, and but I want to go just because it is 
is Boston. Yeah, you, know? you got to do Boston. Yeah, that's what I'm and saying. It you sounds like uh, yeah. you're such a speedster. You probably qualify on time, right? I don't know for sure, uh, okay. but I, I, you know, my my uh, if if three seventeen is a qualifier. Then, oh yes, yeah. it is, it, especially it, at uh, if you're over fifty, and I think <laughs> you're in my age group. Yeah, I'm probably a, I'm a, I'm definitely over fifty. Uh, all right, you're, you're <laughs> 65, 65, and hopefully. Uh, still grow, growing. You're, you're, <laughs> yeah. you, you look very young for 65. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've been, I've been blessed. I've been the running. The running helps. helps. I'm telling you, it does. And, and, and you love your work, obviously. I love my work. It, you know, being elected in, in at this point in time in history, especially, is I think uh, very, very uh, fortunate, uh, challenging, nevertheless. And um, but. Uh, you know, being able to have the confidence of a community to represent them in a in a very uh, important process that has a great impact on their life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in terms of right now, for instance, public education. And you know, my mother has been my sort of uh, image of of uh, that comes to mind when I think about these educational issues. Because, but for her, I would not be here. And many mothers, I understand, well, I'm, well like my mother. And they want the best for their children, um, and so even though we may not always agree on some of the policies, like I'm not a charter school supporter, mm -hmm. I understand the instinct behind parents wanting their children to get a decent education. Yeah. And in the and in the context of our public school system, our traditional public school system, uh, not measuring up, parents are looking for something else. And, choice, and yeah. even though that may not be measuring up, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I can understand it, and so. I think that the challenge before us is to help our public schools fulfill the vision um, that that they uh, that they should, mm -hmm. as, and, and therefore not necessarily have to go into this quasi pseudo privatized approach mm -hmm. that we see taking place in the, in terms of charter schools, mm -hmm. um, and 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 those resources that are being diverted uh, to that area should be really focused on the needs of the traditional public school mm -hmm. and we need to make them work. There's okay. no reason. And They've worked in the past. That's how I got to where I that's am. That's right. I was going to mention and that's how you got. And therefore they should be able to work today and in the future well, we without necessarily good. allowing the private sector to control it. Okay. Well, we have good leadership on both sides, so I'm sure we could work it out. Going back to running, I was reading that uh, you and your, and your pal I think his name is Robert Jackson. Bob Jackson. <laughs> Action Jackson, probably. Action Jackson, yes. <laughs> You've done a few races together, like run for Haiti, run, yes, yes, run yes, for yes, safety yes. kind of thing. The running allows me by the same, uh, through to, to identify and participate in those causes, those uh, social kinds of uh, causes that uh, we identify with and, and, and run in those kinds of races um, that we can help raise money for or bring attention to a certain yeah, yeah. issue. And Bob and I have had have enjoyed a great relationship in the running arena as well as being colleagues in government as well. In fact, uh, if I may, Bob is running for a, a, a higher office again, and uh, we look forward to him uh, joining us uh, perhaps one day. In, in the Senate or as well, a council member? As a, in, in the Assembly or the Senate. Okay. Yeah, he's, you know, he's still... You know, I think, well, he was uh, a former council member. He was a former council member, did a great job, um, and has been quite uh, remarkable leadership in terms of advocacy for public education. Oh, good. And he good. obviously, um, he made his uh, journey on foot from New York to Albany, many miles, and he walked there to bring attention to the campaign for fiscal equity, okay. which basically said, give New York its share yeah, yeah, of the yeah. money for our children it as well. It was great that you and uh, Robert uh, could use uh, running for these uh, worthy causes. Sure, sure. And did, uh, did you guys uh, run into Ted Corbett? Was he uh, one of your heroes when you grew up? You know, it's interesting you should say that because uh, we knew of Ted Corbett. I'm reading his biography right now, as a matter of fact, and so um, it, he has been a model, as someone that uh, has been outstanding, and especially uh, as as, as, a, as a person of color. So, yes, he, he is. A, 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 needless to say, <laughs> he is. He's considered the father of long distance running, and he and he was recently honored. At, of course, you know, at 228th uh -huh. Street, yes, yes, they yes, put up yes, the sign. Yes. I'm glad that um, he has been getting the recognition. He's been uh, not a, a, an inspiration for a lot of us, uh, and that uh, monument to him. 
uh, is something that uh, is uh, going to be uh, a tribute, uh, not just to him, and it represents what long distance running has meant to so many people yeah, yeah. and to our city for that yeah, matter. Yeah. Yeah. Besides long distance running, you, I think you're famous also for running Coogan's uh, quite a bit. I've done Coogan's almost every year <laughs> for, <laughs> for a long time. And I think it's coming up again in a few it, weeks. Yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, this season will uh, be a good season uh, with that particular run. And that's sort of a, a must-do every year kind of neighborhood district kind of run. I've done it uh, myself a couple of times. Yeah, just like the run that we have in Harlem and, and some of the other runs in Central Park. So you have some favorite uh, racist road runners like Coogan's? Well, Coogan's well, finally road runners took it over because yeah, the, they got into a little financial trouble. Yeah, the, yeah. So road, road runners. runners yeah, I, I, last year I, I focused primarily on the uh, half miles, and I like those. Uh, and um, obviously the, the 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 marathon I like, but it's really not something you can like like <laughs> because it's such a uh, a, uh, a challenge. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so you, you and you're always figuring that you're going to do your best. Yeah. And you're always sort of uh, hesitating about, oh, am I going to get that cramp that's going to cripple me for the rest of the race or something like yeah, that? Yeah. So it's a it's a it's a frightening kind of a challenge. Yeah. Uh, that you that you embrace knowing that uh, this is the one okay. that matters. Well, how, do, how do you prepare? Since you said you're self coached, how do you do, you do speed work? I do? I don't know what I do. I every morning I get up about six thirty seven o'clock and go out. And I go to Central Park. Sometimes I do the whole park. Sometimes I just do the lower hills, the hills on. And, 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 and you do it by yourself, or you have a buddy? Generally speaking, I do it by myself. Occasionally, um, there are folks that we hook up and we we might go running. But for the most part, these days, I, I run by myself. Long distance runners, I find, tend to be. Uh, lone <laughs> rangers, so to speak. <laughs> the, lone wolves. So. Lo, yeah, lone wolves, so to speak. Uh, and, and so you don't really see a lot of long distance runners running together. Though, I can tell you one thing, though. Central Park has been coming more and more attractive to a lot more runners. Oh, yeah. Especially in the mornings. I'm seeing more distance runners in the mornings than I've ever well, seen, seen before. If they have to beat the heat, they're coming very early. But even in the winter is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Even oh, in the yeah. winter. Oh, yeah. Even no in this winter. Yeah, there's some I've, hardcore... Uh, runners in, in Central Park these days, and okay. early in the morning. That's very interesting. So, so you know your body so well that you know how much to run, and obviously you keep uh, fit by eating well. Vanity uh -huh. is very important. Oh, to you want to look good in your suit. Well, you want to look good, and All right. running is uh, very suitable okay. for looking good in a suit. <laughs> well, what, what kind of diet do you follow? Well, I eat almost anything I want. I don't. Uh, have too many restrictions, but I'm not, you know, obviously a uh, a big big eater or uh -huh. what you might call a, a greedy eater. So my, you know, my vanity tells me Kay. when I look at it in the mirror, she says, you know, <laughs> you have to watch your weight. You have to. You're not going to get that run in. Well, what does your doctor say? He must be thrilled to. Uh, my to doctors check are you. happy about my weight. You know, they want me to continue to uh, take the vitamins and the prescriptions that they give me for uh, different other ailments that okay. I might have. But for the most part, you know, they're, they're pleased that uh, I'm in, you know, decent shape. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, and, uh, and of course, you know, the countries, people are considered obese majority, and you're the exception. How are you bringing more awareness of, of physical fitness in your district? Well, you know, I run in my district as well, and so and, and it's and it's a good thing for me because folks see me and they ask and they and they kind of recognize that uh, you know I'm a runner, and so I, my motto is always your health is your wealth. Running for me has been very good in that regard. It's the cheapest medicine you can get uh -huh. on the block, and um, I think that it has. Uh, been somewhat of a, of an example that people appreciate, and they say, you know, I got to catch up with you, I got to get out there with you, which is the first right step. Yes, yes. And that first right step, I know, I've noticed, uh, folks have decided to go out and get some sneakers, or you know, get out and and, and start getting themselves together. So. For me, the running is not just a, a, a vanity thing or for myself, but I think it also uh, is, a, is a role model kind of a thing. 
All right. And especially for our young people, and because, you know, uh, we have an obesity problem. Yes. Amongst our young people. Yeah. Uh, there's a very accessible stuff yeah. for them to eat and drink that is not necessarily healthy. Yeah. And so if uh, my uh, work running and, 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 and looking healthy is uh, something that they see as I walk through the neighborhood or run through the neighborhood, I love public transportation. It's, I think, a great asset of our city. Yeah. So I'm always on the buses and the subways, and I think the Metro card and, and the monthly Metro card are great bargains, and I want to applaud our city for recognizing that value for our, for our citizenry, uh -huh, and uh -huh. we need to keep moving in that direction. And so it's a, and I get a chance to engage folks, and we talk, and, and, and they ask me some of the questions. You're asking me about, wow, you look in pretty good shape. I see you running all the time. Yeah, yeah. So that becomes a topic of conversation that helps me sort of talk not just about the legislation or the policies, yep, yep. but about health and That's the right. way that right. we can be healthier through exercise and running. You're a good running ambassador yeah, overall. Yeah. Well, listen, we're almost out of time, but I want to cover a couple of things. One is, I know you want to do Coogan's and you mm -hmm. want to do Boston. Any other big challenges physically? Or There's only fight? one other race that I want to do. I thought I was going to participate in it uh, as, a, as a sort of a, uh, inaugural race, which is a race in tribute to Nelson Mandela in South Africa oh. that was uh, inaugurated last year. Uh -huh. And I was invited to attend, but circumstances uh, did not allow me uh, to make that race. Well, let's talk a little bit about politics as we close sure. out. Sure. Because I was reading that you were one of the first electives, and not the first, to... to the uh, first. The first <laughs> to... Uh, to uh, what should I, what's the word? To uh, support to the support president. To pre yes. pre president Barack Obama when he came out. Exactly, and I can't say that it was simply because he was a marathon runner as well. <laughs> if you didn't know, he is, or uh, he has been in the past. But uh, um, obviously, you know, we felt that what he was uh, representing uh, was not only historical in terms of being a first, but more importantly, uh, was very, a progressive agenda, yeah, yeah. an important agenda that I thought was responsive to the needs of not only my district, but I thought, thought of the country. Okay. And so I was very honored to be the first uh, in the state to come out and support him. Uh, obviously, there was uh, some uh, pushback against me for that because yeah, yeah. most of the political establishment was moving in the other direction. Yeah, yes. well, but I that think that he has proven himself to be well worth the support. Obviously, he was given a second term, and uh, he's uh, obviously couldn't fulfill all that we would have wanted or it that was, he would have wanted it to It was fulfill. historic, and, uh, and history will record it accordingly. Yes, and his wife, of course, uh, has played a significant role as a first lady. Uh, and it's especially around re the areas of health and, and athletics and oh, for yeah, young yeah, people yeah, especially. Yeah, she's into uh, athletics. And I also like the fact that uh, the first grandma is in the White yes, House yes, taking yes, care yes, of the yes. kids, which is not well known. He, yes, uh, yes, yes. That yes. Uh, they keep the family intact. Yes, yes. So all have benefited from, from this presidency in, in, in many ways. Let's and talk so about the other first. You, you come in first in some races, so it's interesting <laughs> that how you're running a political life intertwines and how you keep it, you know, importantly intertwined. You were also one of the first to support the DREAM Act. Yes. Well, again, tradition I come from, politically speaking, was, uh, I guess, uh, formulated uh, through the civil rights movement and uh, through some of the other movements that were uh, important during the period in which I was growing up and obviously went to college, and those were in the 60s. And, and, and so a lot of those values even preceded the 60s, and so those are the values that I guess uh, I was fed with in terms of uh, my perspective on the world. And so I've been very fortunate that uh, I was able to uh, translate those values in terms of the work that I do in, 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 the, in the legislative mm -hmm. arena. The community has been very generous uh, in, in, in allowing me to represent them not only as a, as a tenant leader and a community activist, but ultimately in terms of becoming a member of the council in, in, in places like in the state senate. So uh, we've tried to formulate policy and, 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 and budgets that respond accordingly. And I think we've obviously been 
somewhat successful. I want to thank the community for continuing <laughs> to reelect me. And, and maybe when uh, I run for Congress, uh, uh, they'll give me an opportunity to do it on a congressional level. And I'd love to take it uh, to that level. I think that of what the work we've done is, is, is quite suitable for that. Even bringing the running agenda yes, uh, yes. Uh, to, to Congress, I think, would, would be uh, very, very important. Well, that's interesting. So your, your vision, your dream is to vote well, for Congress or be sure. elected to Congress after sure, Senate? Sure. Well, you know, the, um, the Congressman Rangel has been doing an excellent job for so many years, and then he has decided that um, Oh, you could it's, be running for a seat? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. excellent. I didn't know that. Yeah, I know yeah. so many other people have been uh, yeah, mentioned. Yeah, some people, are okay. other people are considering as okay. well. Okay, well, it, it should be an interesting race, and I wish you all the best on that. Well, if I do as well in this race as I've done in running. Yes, and, and yes. Well, I think you're going to get the running community behind you. you very know. good. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you. Okay. Now, 2016 is coming up since you've been a many first. Mm -hmm. Do you think we're going to have our first uh, nominated woman uh, for president? The sooner the better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. Uh, and will you be one of the first to support the, uh, the Democratic side? Of course, without a doubt. I think that, you know, it's, it's past time. Okay. And, and, and I think that uh, the world is waiting for the United States always to provide leadership in areas especially of social awareness and consciousness and uh, breaking barriers you know that's what our country has been most notable for in in, in terms of uh, new ways of looking at the world new ways of receiving people and new ways of of of, of bringing new challenges uh, for ourselves and 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 i think that uh it's time okay. and i'm looking forward to supporting uh the democratic uh, female candidate for President of the United States. Okay, <laughs> listen on that note. Thank you so much for coming in, and I wish you many, many more future firsts. I'll see you in Both Central in Park. politics <laughs> and, in the, and in the field. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you.